Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, TLC Beauty. I am just super casual today. I've actually been under the weather for a few days, so hence the glasses. Um, normally whenever I get a sinus infection, then my eyes just, wearing contacts just burns my eyes so bad. So I have to put my glasses on and unfortunately, that's where we stand right now. So hence the no makeup, hence the glasses. I am just super, super comfortable and relaxing today. I'll probably go and lay down for a little bit after this video goes up. But I wanted to post to you guys in, or on my channel, what would be in my current makeup travel bag or in my makeup bag if I were to travel. So I have these two, like this is my makeup, this is my skincare. And then I have my little brush bag and I'm just gonna share with you guys what is in my makeup bags for traveling. So I don't think I'm gonna be traveling anytime soon, but if I were, this is what I would bring with me. So this does hold quite a bit in it. Um, it actually came with like two smaller bags. This one is actually one of them, so it's super convenient for traveling. So first off, we have the Smashbox Photo Phono Photo Finish Primer Water. It's a set and refresh spray. Um, I got this like during a Ulta Beauty Buys deal. Um, I think it was in December. It was like half off, which is amazing because this is normally $32. I think I got it for $16. But I've really been enjoying this um, after putting my primer on or even before my primer for foundation. So this would be a must for me. And then to set my face and all my makeup to make it last is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is such a good high-end product. Um, it is, you know, high-end, but it does work really good for me. And then I can't go anywhere without my Ulta Beauty Beauty Smarts New Hue Shadow Switching Pan. And what I like with this is it's what it looks like inside so you can brush swish your brushes on here when you're done and it gets all of the makeup color off so instead of having to spot clean your brushes you know if you're going in with like a bright blue and then you want to do you know say a yellow you can switch it your brush in here and the blue's not going to be in with the yellow probably a horrible example but that's just what kind of came to mind for lashes i picked my Lee Celine Lashes in Crystal. These are just some everyday nice lashes. I wore these when I went out for my birthday dinner and they're expensive, but they feel so nice on your eyes and they're super easy to use. For lash glue, I picked the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. This is just in clear, so it will dry down clear. And what I like about this is it just has a nice applicator. You don't have to like squeeze the glue out of the tube. And of course for lashes, my little eyelash tweezer to hold them in place and kind of squeeze my lashes together with the artificial lashes. For my eyebrow pencil, I picked the IT Brow Power Super Skinny and I am in Universal Taupe. This does have a spoolie on it, which I love. And it just kind of twists up and that is what it looks like. It's just like a little ball on the end. Um, this one is just such an easy product to use and so easy to fill in my brows and it's very complimenting because it's a, just a universal taupe color. For lips, I did pick a few lip products. That way I do have some choices. Um, you guys all know that my favorite lip liner is the CoverGirl Farewell Feathering Pencil. It's just a nude pencil so this way it can go with any color that I have. I picked out my um, Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. This one is in Coral Crown. So it's kind of like a, like a brownie copper color. That's what it looks like. Then I picked out my Maybelline Super Stay. This one is in Lover. So this is, you know, kind of a nice neutral shade but more like a pinky berry color. 
I picked out the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. This one is in Glistening Berry. And this, these three that I'm saying right now, they are actually a long wearing formula. So that's more of a berry mauve, a little bit deeper than that one. And then for a red, I picked Revlon Color Stay Over Time in Forever Scarlet. So you put this on first, then this, and it seals and locks in the lip color all day long. So there's the Forever Scarlet. And then for a lip gloss, I picked the Color Icon Lip Gloss Wet n Wild in Aquarius. So this way, this lip gloss will kind of just go with everything that I would wear that day or if I wanted to just wear it on its own. And there's the lip gloss. Then for a liquid eyeliner, I picked my Essence Eyeliner Pen Extra Long Lasting. This one is in black and it just has kind of a nice felt tip applicator to it. For an eyeliner, I did pick my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion. You guys know that this is my all-time favorite eyeliner, the black eyeliner anyway. And I also picked the Rimmel Scandal Eyes in Nude. So it just kind of wakens up your waterline. There it is there. And it kind of, you know, it opens it and makes your eyes look brighter and wider. I do have a travel size of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So being travel size, it's super convenient that it's a little smaller. I also have a travel size of the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil Powder. So it's just nice to set the under eyes and I can also use that to set my whole face. But I did pack another powder to set the whole face. Oh no, I didn't. I thought I did. I didn't. For bronzer, I picked the Ulta Beauty Bronzer, and this one is in Warm. I already know I love it, so it's super easy and convenient to use. And then I did pick this. It's actually a bronze, a powder palette, multicolored custom bronzer for blondes. But what I like to do is after I'm done with all my makeup, I like to just kind of brush this over the entire look. I picked the Rimmel and um, highlighting palette. So you get three shades in here. You get kind of a nice pinky tone, a champagne tone, and then a little bit more of a darker, um, like a brownish copper color. Of course I have a beauty blender. My foundation, I picked the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I am in shade 102 Shell Beige. Such a great formula and I mean, it's not super nice. It, you know, doesn't have a pump, but it is easy to travel with, plus with it being a little bit more slim. For eyeshadow primer, I picked the Bare Minerals Gen Nude. This one is Bright AF and Flawless. So this does pretty much cancel out all of anything that I have on my eyelids, and I've really been enjoying this underneath my eyeshadow. It does make it last. For a blush, I picked the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in Honeysuckle. That's what the packaging looks like. And it's just kind of, it's like a pinky bronze color, but gives such a nice sheen to the face. Primer, I picked the Ulta Beauty Poreless Face Primer. Again, it's super slim and sleek, so easy to pack and travel with. For concealer, I brought the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, and I'm in the shade Porcelain. And I actually really like the applicator. This is extremely full coverage, and it lasts me all day. For eyeshadow palette, I did bring the Urban Decay Born to Run. This is just such a universal palette. You can get any look you want, whether you want to go a little bright, um, you have your purples, you have your neutrals, you have a little bit of pop of color with purple and pink. So I really like that and it would be really easy to travel with. I did bring my Yes to Cucumber Soothing Hypoallergenic Facial Wipes. These are just so easy. Um, like now I'm gonna use it to clean off the swatches, but I'll go in 
when I'm taking my makeup off and I'll kind of wipe this the use a wipe to just kind of do a brief cleansing I guess kind of a pre cleansing and that way then my face is there's not as much makeup on when I go in with my makeup remover or my cellar water or anything of that it's just a little bit easier to get some of the makeup off so then in this bag is all of my skincare I do have my Foreo system this is just amazing to get everything nice and deep into your skin and it massages so it does feel really good I have my micellar water. I just put my micellar water and my eye makeup remover in these because it's so much easier to get out. You just put the cotton square around on and you push down and it comes out. So you don't have to worry about dumping it or pouring it onto the cotton. And my all my eye makeup remover. <coughs> I also have my Physician's Formula Refreshment Cucumber and Bamboo Eye Dew Puffer. I really like this under the eyes waking them up and it does feel really refreshing you can even put that in your refrigerator too and it helps keep it cool then I thought I would use the Ulta Beauty lip mask so it's just a mask to put on your lips and it would probably feel really good at night and moisturizing I have my Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream it's an anti-wrinkle day cream so just be nice to use just says every morning so nice to use in the morning then for a serum, I have my Meaningful Beauty by Cindy Crawford. It's the Youth Activating Melon Serum. So I am close to getting done with that, so I thought it would be easy to put that in there and finish it up. I also have my Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea. I usually like to use that in the morning just to kind of refresh my face and wake it up. And also for under the eyes is the Clearly Brighter Anti-Puff Eye Roller. So I'll use like one in the morning and one at night I kind of switch it off it's not just one or the other and then for a moisturizer I have my drunk elephant proteiny polypeptide cream it's a nice sample size I got this as my birthday gift from Sephora so nice and convenient for traveling and then the bestie number nine jelly cleanser also came with the drunk elephant so this is a makeup remover like the Clinique Cleansing Balm. You just twist it off and it comes out that way. So super convenient packaging. And then in this, I have my brushes. So this actually is like the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush collection. So in there, I have my e.l.f. Total Face Brush. This I like to use like to set my whole face. I also like to go in with my Physician's Formula 4-in-1 bronzer and just kind of bronze it all over the skin. I have a angle shading brush. It's actually just an angle brush, but I use this to kind of clean up my brows and carve them out. I also have my e.l.f. angled blush brush. I use this one for blush and bronzer. It's just like an easy two-in-one. Then I have my e.l.f. highlighting brush for highlighting. And then I have my Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush collection. So I have the JH33. It's kind of a nice, big, kind of like nicely packed blending brush. The JH22, which is more of a bigger, bluffy, bigger, fluffy blending brush to kind of blend out the seams and a JH30, which is JH30. So this one is um, more dome shaped. Then I have the JH40, which is kind of nice for like precise crease blending or even under the eyes. The JH41, which is good for just packing on color or if you have a shimmer, you could just kind of do that with it and pack it on the JH39 so this one is I use this for my crease work just kind of get it very precise JH42 which you can use this to kind of get the inner corner the brow bone highlight and last but not least the JH43 so it's just a flat definer brush 
So that is everything that I would have in my current makeup travel bag if I were to be traveling anywhere. Um, I hope you guys found this useful and informative. Hopefully it helps you guys make some decisions when you are traveling, some things that are easy and compact to take. Again, I am so sorry I'm not feeling good. I highly apologize. Hopefully in the next video I will be feeling better. But thank you so much for watching. I love each and every one of you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little notification bell off to the right. That way you're notified every time I upload a new video. And thank you so much for watching. I love each and every one of you. Bye-bye.